If you haven't tried oil colors for your models yet, you should think about it because they offer many advantages. For example, for panel lining, since they have no surface tension and flow into every crevice, and for weathering and as a wash, since they can be perfectly blended and you can reactivate them even after drying. While acrylic paints primarily consist of pigments, water and a binder, oil colors are made up of pigments and oils. They have a consistency similar to toothpaste, but they can be thinned with special thinners. And the best part is, the thinner you use for oil paints does not react with your dried acrylic color, especially not if you varnished it before. Oil colors are highly efficient and even a small set can last you for years. In the past, oil paints could take years to dry, but modern oil paints dry in about a day, depending on the applied thickness. The traditional thinner for oil paints is turpentine or mineral spirit. But there is also an option which promises less odor and lower volatility, which is called white spirit. Now please don't ask me why the bottle I have has both names on it, I have no idea. Both turpentine and white spirit should be handled with care due to their solvent properties. They can be harmful if ingested, inhaled in large amounts or allowed to come into prolonged contact with the skin. Turpentine's strong odor can cause respiratory irritation and should be used in a well-ventilated area. And if oil paints are out of the question for you because of the health risks, simply continue to use acrylic-based paints and washes. In addition to oil colors and thinner, you also need various synthetic brushes. Using thinner can easily ruin natural hair brushes. Furthermore, you'll need a color palette or a small cup for mixing, some cotton swabs to wipe off excess oil paint, and lastly, you'll require a varnish to seal individual color layers. Now enough of the theory and introduction, let's get started with the mixing of a panel line wash. If you ever tried to paint a Spider-Man web like this with acrylic paints, you know how much time and nerves that can cost. With oil colors, it basically paints itself. And making your own wash is really cheap. I not even paid 10 bucks for the oil colors and the turpentine. Considering the amount you need for a 17 milliliter bottle of a ready mixed wash that comes down to a few cents. What I forgot to mention, but also comes in handy, are those throwaway pipettes. And I sometimes keep my empty acrylic bottles, and now I can fill one bottle with panel line mix and one with pure turpentine. Simply because those 17 milliliter bottles are easier to handle than the big one. Firstly, I put a small dot of oil color in a plastic cup, add a sip of thinner and mix everything well. Then I take a failed print as a test specimen dip the brush in the mixture and try it on the model. But you can see that it's not enough black or too much thinner, so I just keep adding more black until I have the wanted opacity. And once you are satisfied, you can fill it into a bottle and use it every time you need a black panel liner or a black wash. Now simply take a small brush, hold it onto the panel line and it will magically flow into it. You don't need to be precise, simply cover the recesses and let the oil color flow where it wants. After applying the oil colors, let them dry for about an hour or two. You can wait longer, even until the next day. You can then use some thinner and paper towels or Q-tips for cleaning. If you don't wait for the oil color to dry a bit, you could pull the wash out of the crevice again. And with this method, you can of course make yourself panel liners in every other color you want. If I just want to do some weathering, I add some thinner to a well on my palette and put a small dot of brown oil color next to it. Thin the oil color with the thinner until I achieve a liquid consistency similar to water. And then I use an old brush for steering and a separate finer brush to test the color. Here I use brown and green to show you how easily different colors can be blended. With some practice you can achieve fantastic and ultra-realistic weathering effects. And then I let this torso sit for two days and you can see that with a Q-tip you can still rub it away. And with a drop of thinner on the Q-tip, you can basically wash away the oil color without leaving a stain. But at this time you can also use a varnish and seal your work. After that it will be scratch and thinner resistant. And that's it, with oil colors you have a fantastic range of possibilities to weather and enhance your models. Now if you want to see the full Spider-Man project that I made the panel liner for, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment for the algorithm. Have fun experimenting and developing your own weathering techniques. Happy painting.